She's moving into the home of her dreams, but it took several months, three lenders, and a lot of patience for Kathy Grant to finally get a mortgage on this house in Monroe Township. I feel like we're actually lucky at this point, but it was not easy. The banks are very much shy of coming forward and trying to make these things happen because of what's happened in the past. But brokers like Brian LaRue of Red Oak Mortgage say the market's finally easing up a bit. It's a very well-kept secret right now. People are very surprised. He says mortgage rates are at near record lows and dropping. In New Jersey, a 30-year fixed averages just 3.86%, close to the national average. A 15-year fixed runs a shade above 3% in New Jersey and nationwide, while refis can trend higher, averaging close to 4% in New Jersey. Jersey, the word spreading slowly. People aren't really jumping on it because it's not really common knowledge. The, the market, it, it's happening so slowly and it's moving very, very slowly and it's, it's, it's a little weird and no one really knows how long it's going to stay. Here's the backstory. Facing the burst housing bubble and Great Recession, the Fed eased interest rates, so-called quantitative easing, QE phases one, two, and three. Analysts think the Fed's likely to raise rates early next year and banks are gradually responding. Well, the rules of the road when it comes to quality qualifying for a mortgage are good credit, proof of income, and either money for a down payment or having some equity in the home. If you've got those three things, you're in business. But New Jersey's economic recovery lags behind the nation's, and property values have rebounded slowly. That can create hurdles for homeowners. Joe Vida managed to buy his home in Freehold only after taking a bath to get out of his first house. Where we had to write a check to leave uh -huh. um, because values when we sold then were we were upside down in our house. Worth it, he just got a 15-year fixed refi on his new home. Kathy's situation is her home back in Tinton Falls is still underwater. She'd take a big hit if she sold it now, so she's renting it out to cover that mortgage and went looking for a broker who'd finance the mortgage for her dream home here in Monroe. I consider us lucky in the sense that we were able to get a lender that was understanding what we really wanted to achieve mm -hmm. and move forward from there. Some people joke QE2 sounds like a cruise ship, but maybe that's not inappropriate, considering the Fed launched it into the uncertain waters of a stalled economy. Well, some people jumped right on board and found safe harbor, while others are still struggling to stay afloat. In Monroe Township, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.